Okay, well I'm back working with the galvanic batteries that are um, magnesium and copper in a water solution for electrolyte. And I made a very small jewel thief circuit um, using a very, very small barber pole type of um, battery. And the toroid for the jewel thief is just this little tiny bead here that I unwound partway and tapped into the center of that coil to make the uh, center tap coil for a jewel thief. And I fiddled around with the darn thing and even eliminated the resistor to the base. But uh, put a capacitor right here that uh, I found uh, this value here was the one that worked for this particular circuit. And uh, made a cute little thing I'm calling the mosquito light. And um, I'm lid motor. And that's my mosquito light right there. If you can see the eyes light up here. Tell you what, I'm going to walk this in the dark so you can see this a little bit better. See that it's actually lit up. Now this is a, an extremely simple dual thief circuit with one transistor. It's an NPN. And um, just this little water battery thing here at the bottom. And the reason I'm calling it the mosquito light is uh, it doesn't make any noise unless you get it near a radio. When you get it near a radio, it sounds like that terrible sound we hear in our ears sometimes. I don't know if you've ever had one of those buzzing in your ear. But man, I have, and it drives me nuts. So anyway, I named that the mosquito light. And uh, that's my little mosquito light there. And all you do is you just um, stick this in water and it activates. And the way it works, it works off of uh, a piece of uh, magnesium ribbon and a piece of shoelace material that's just slid down in there. That's just shoelace material. And you uh, cut a piece off and slide the magnesium uh, strip in there. Then you just wrap copper on it. And that forms the battery right there. And that's the uh, copper magnesium battery. Now I put a piece of uh, straw on that to hold the moisture in after I get it wet. And I don't know how long this would run, but I, I think I will run this probably, um, I don't know, several days before it dries out completely. But if I put it in water, it would just keep right on going, or a plant. So. Um, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work for a long time. Now the way these uh, little water batteries work, these barber pole kind of things, is when they dry out they stop. They stop corroding. And I even uh, helped it by, I put the oil up here at the top to keep the corrosion from happening up here, which that's where they fail, is right up here at the top part. You see how I used a screw, a steel screw, to keep the copper away from the magnesium for an attachment point there. But um, it is the same idea as my barber pole battery that I made a week or so ago, which has worked out great. And I've got it running a little pulse motor right now. And uh, that was extremely effective. Now that's using carbon as the um, other electrode on the uh, battery. But the, what the way that works is as soon as it dries out, it stops unless you put it in water. So it, it really has an unlimited shelf life as long as you keep it dry. So I've had a lot of success with that. And then I also made one using a, a copper tube with the magnesium wrapped around the copper tube insulated by cotton cloth. And then I wrapped that with masking tape. And that seals it so that it runs a long, long time before you have to get it wet again. And this has been running for a number of days too. And it does dry out some because the, the tape is paper and uh, that uh, allows the moisture to escape that way. But I've been running this pulse motor off this battery here too. And um, when they stop, you just get them wet again or you leave them in water. Eventually the, the magnesium will corrode away. But it mainly happens right here where it makes the joint with oxygen in the air. So if you can keep that uh, lubricated up and keep the oxygen off of it, and the water off of it right there. They last a lot longer. But anyway, I had a lot of fun with this mosquito light today. And that's the oscillation. 
Now, when this starts drying out, that oscillation gets lower and lower and lower in pitch as the frequency goes down on it. But that's the frequency that it's running at right now. And you can see it's extremely simple. There's just not much to it. There's a little NPN transistor. There's a little uh, toroid, uh, ferrite toroid, and a capacitor, and then the battery. And that's all there is to that. There's not much to that little guy. Anyway, I'll pan this real slow. If anybody wants to make one of these, you can uh, decipher the little uh, diagram here. And there's the schematic of what it looks like. It's an NPN transistor, a couple of uh, LEDs in parallel, and then this capacitor here, which uh, I'm using that 4.7 microfarad um, 35 volt cap. You could use a number of different caps there. Anything that is like that would work. And then, of course, the battery here. Now, if you put one and a half volts on this thing without a base resistor, you're going to be in trouble because this thing will probably burn out and you might even fry your transistor. But with this low voltage, low amperage situation with this little battery thing here, I'm getting away with no resistor on the base. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's my latest little project, the Mosquito Light.